In section 5.2, part 2, you will graph polynomial functions. Here we have a list of the properties of graphs of polynomial functions. Read through them and familiar, familiarize yourself with them because in the next examples we will be referring to them and using these properties. To graph a polynomial function, first plot points to determine the shape of the graph's middle portion then use what you know about end behavior to sketch the ends of the graph. In our first example, we're going to graph a basic cubic function. Because it's an odd degree, we know that this graph is going to have opposite end behavior. And because the leading coefficient is positive, I also know it's going to rise to the right. So I'll make a table of values to find this curve on the coordinate plane. I'll let x equal negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. I'll choose some values about the origin. If I cube negative 2, I get negative 8 for a y value. If I cube negative 1, I get negative 1. 0 cubed is 0, 1 cubed is 1, and 2 cubed is 8. So these are the points that I want to put on the coordinate plane. Negative 2, negative 8, negative 1, negative 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and 2, 8. So when I draw this curve, which is rather S-shaped, that's how we would describe the curve of a cubic, I see that it does have opposite behavior left and right. It falls to the left and rises to the right. And when I describe the end behavior using function notation, I would say f of x approaches positive infinity as x approaches positive infinity. And f of x or y approaches negative infinity as x approaches negative infinity. Okay, and now let's look at the basic quartic. Because it's an even degree, I would expect it to have the same behavior left and right. The leading coefficient again is positive, so I, I, I know it's going to rise right. Okay, I'll make a table of values again to find the middle portion of this graph. Let x equal negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Okay, when I put negative 2 in for x, negative 2 to the fourth power is 16. Put negative 1 in, negative 1 to the fourth power is 1. 0 to the fourth power is 0. 1 to the fourth power is 1. And 2 to the fourth power is 16. So when I'm graphing, negative 2, 16, I know is off my graph. Negative 1, 1 is in the second quadrant. 0, 0 is the origin. 1, 1 in the first quadrant. And 2, 16, again, off my graph. Now when I connect these points, I see that this graph is rather U-shaped, like a parabola, which is also even degree. Okay, and when I describe its uh, end behavior using function notation, I would say f of x approaches positive infinity as x approaches positive infinity. And f of x approaches positive infinity as x approaches negative infinity. Again, these even degree functions look rather U-shaped. That's how we would describe them. And our odd degree curves are S-shaped. Okay, here's two more examples. The first one is a cubic. 
because it's odd degree again we know it has opposite behavior left and right and because our leading coefficient is positive we know it's going to rise to the right so we make a table of values to find the middle portion of this graph and I'm going to let x equal negative 3 negative 2 negative 1 0 and 1 Okay, and when I put negative 3 in for x, negative 3 cubed is negative 27. Negative 3 squared is 9, and 9 times 2 is 18. I have minus minus 3, which is plus 3, plus 3. So I have 6 plus 18, that's 24, and 24 and negative 27 is negative 3 for a y value. Now negative 2 in for x, negative 2 cubed is negative 8. Negative 2 squared is 4, and 4 times 2 is positive 8. Minus a minus 2 is plus 2, plus 3. So negative 8 and positive 8 sum to 0, so my y value is 5. Negative 1 cubed is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is 1, and 1 times 2 is 2. Minus a minus 1 is plus 1, plus 3. So here my positives total 6, and 6 minus 1 is 5. Putting 0 in for x, the first three terms are 0, so y is equal to 3, and then 1. 1 cubed is 1, 1 squared is 1, and 1 times 2 is 2, minus 1, plus 3. So again, I'm getting a total of 6 positives, minus 1 is 5 again for a y value. So I'll graph negative 3, negative 3 in the third quadrant, negative 2, 5, and negative 1, 5, 0, 3, and 1, 5. Now I know that this uh, curve is going to rise to the right. It's going to fall to the left because it has opposite behavior left and right. So I'll sketch this curve through those points that I graphed. And I see that because it's third degree, it's going to have n minus 1 or 3 minus 1. Two turns at the most is what I can expect. And that's exactly what it has. It's going to rise from the left. It's going to turn once, turn twice, and then it's going to continue to rise to the right. OK, the second uh, cur uh, graph here function is a quartic, even degree, so we know it's going to have the same behavior left and right. A negative leading coefficient, so we know it should fall to the right. And let's talk about the number of turns. 4 minus 1, or 3 turns at the most, is what we can expect. So let's make a table of values again to graph that middle portion. Let's let x equal negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3 this time, some center of the graph to find our curve. Negative 1 to the fourth power is 1, so this first term is negative 1. Negative 1 cubed is negative 1, and negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Minus a minus 1 is plus 1, plus 1. So I have 2 minus 4, that's negative 2 for a y value. If I put 0 into this function, the first three terms again are 0, and y is equal to 1. 1 to the fourth power is 1, so my first term is negative 1. 1 cubed is 1, and 1 times 3 is 3. I have minus 1 plus 1, which is 0 at the end here. So I have 3 minus 1, or 2, for a y value. Now I'll put 2 in for x. 2 to the fourth power is 16, so that first term is negative 16. 2 cubed is 8. And 8 times 3 is 24. I have minus 2 plus 1. So here my negatives total 18 and my positives total 25. So 25 take away 18 is 7 for a y coordinate. 3, 3 to the fourth power, that's 9 times 9 or 81. That's going to be negative 81. And 3 cubed is 27. 27 times 3 is positive 81. I have minus 3 
plus 1. So here I have um, first two terms that total 0, so I have negative 3 plus 1 or negative 2 for a y-coordinate. So I'll graph negative 1, negative 2 on the coordinate plane. 0, 1, that's a y-intercept. 1, 2. I will graph um, 2, 7. And 3, negative 2. Now this graph is supposed to have the same behavior left and right. It's supposed to fall to the right and have at most three turns. So I know that it should come up through this first point, turn, and then rise, reach a high point, and fall again. So that I get this U shape and describing behavior uh, left and right using function notation, I would say f of x approaches negative infinity as x approaches positive infinity. And f of x approaches negative infinity or falls as x approaches negative infinity or moves to the left. Um, we didn't describe the uh, end behavior using function notation for our cubic, so maybe we can do that quickly also. We could say f of x approaches positive infinity as x approaches positive infinity, and f of x falls or approaches negative infinity as x also approaches negative infinity or moves to the left. Include with your notes of this video guided practice problems 9 and 10 found on page 341 of your textbook.